I'm going to do some random pulls for Mahjong competition rules. This is a great way to study the scoring elements. There's a link below the video to this player reference. It's got all the scoring elements in it, 88 and all. If you do this exercise at home, it's a great way to learn all those different scoring elements and to train yourself to see the potential in a drawn hand. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to roll these dice just to see which seat we're in, because that's one variable that can help you find some score for your hand. So I rolled a six. Starting here, we'd count around the table, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to be player two or south. We're going to say that it is the East round and we're in seat two. We're non-dealer, so I'm going to get 13 tiles. Okay, we have one honor. Honors are winds and dragons. We have lots of BAMs six of the other two suits, well, three each. If we were to do a half flesh, that would be six discards. That's terrible. I would not do that. So we have a pair of nines and a pair of fours. Let's see, we do have four, five, five, six, and a four. Four, five, five, six, and a four. We could maybe do an element called mixed triple chow, the same three in a sequence in each suit. And then maybe a terminal pung. Terminals are ones and nines. And discard the honor. If we do all number tiles, that would be no honors as well. So mixed triple chow is number 41, and that's eight fawn. Terminal Pung is number 73, that's one. And then No Honors, number 76, that's one. So this would be a 10 fawn hand. 10 fawn. One, two, three, four blocks. We still would need a pair in here. So I think that's what I would try for here. If you would do something different, write random pull one and what you would do here. Oh. Let's use this east round. So this would be east round. Now we're going to go on to south round. We'll do four. This time, Let's say we're in seat one because I rolled a five. One, two, three, four, five. So we'll be the dealer this time. South round and we're the dealer. Okay, we're east, we have a pair of east. We could get score for that. That would be two points. I think I would try for, let's see. I think I would try for outside hand, Pung of seat wind. Let's see, outside hand is number 55. That's four fawn. We could chow, chow, chow. If we get another seven, eight, nine, that would be a pure double chow, which is another scoring element. Number 69, that's another 
fawn. So if we did outside hand, that'd be four, five, six, seven. We would need, we would need another fawn in here. It's south round, and we do have the south wind. So I think what I would do here is take it pick by pick, discard the five first. See if we could do outside hand. If we draw in cracks, I would probably sacrifice these and try for a half flush because hoping to pair up a south or hoping to get another seven, eight, nine, we'd need the seven and the nine for a pure double chow. That's a lot of hope. I think I would try for outside hand for plan A and then half flesh for plan B. Start with this as a discard. I just want to see chow potential here with the cracks. Potential chow. Chow, isolated, pair. So one, two, three. We would have a lot of work to do to get to a half flesh. But here we have one, two, three, four. We have an additional block if we play outside hand. But we would need either to pair up and pung the south or get another seven, eight, nine for a pure double chow to get more score for outside hand. I think that's what I would shoot for here. Let me know if you would do something different. So that was south round. Now we're gonna do west round. This time, let's say we're in seat seven, or I rolled a seven, so we're in seat three. Non-dealer, I'll get 13 tiles. Okay, mixed suits. We have five, seven, five, seven, five, seven. Mixed triple chow. Here's a pair. You know what I would do here? I would play mixed triple chow and all simples, all two through eight. Discard the ones and the green dragon and play mixed triple chow and all simples. So all simples, two through eight, that's number 68, that's two fawn. And then mixed triple chow number 41 is eight fawn. Four, five. We could do four, five, six, five, six, seven, seven, eight, nine. That's a scoring element called mixed shifted chows. That's only six fun. I think I'd rather try four mixed triple chow. Five, six, seven in each suit. Now we're going to do north round. And this time, let's say we're the dealer because I rolled a five. Look at all those honors, all of those. Look at that. You know what I would do? I think I would try for 13 orphans. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 tiles. I've been told that's a really good guideline for 13 orphans. 13 orphans is a terminal and honor hand. That is number seven and that is 88 fawn, 88 fawn. We need a one bam, a nine crack, a nine dot, and a south. 
I think what I probably would do is discard this eight first because we could do a half flush seat wind, but all these single honors would be painful. I think I would definitely go for 13 orphans here. Let me know if you would do that. It's one of the hardest hands to get, but this is a really great setup for that and it would leverage all those single honors. That is a fun hand to play. That last random pull was very exciting. 13 orphans, one of the most difficult hands to get with 10 tiles from the onset. That's a really great guideline, so I've been told. Would you go for it? I would. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Mahjong competition rules, may all your picks be keepers.